Good morning. My name is Claudia. Welcome to Nat Square's uh, uh, Sunday School at Home. I'm so happy you could join me today to learn about Naomi and Ruth and their family. But first, I invite you to go to the Nassau Aware Presbyterian YouTube channel. So go and pause this video and link to the video that's the story of Naomi and Ruth. And when you've seen that, come on right back and we'll wait right for you, right here for you. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed watching the video on Naomi and Ruth. Today's story is about a family who came from Bethlehem. The harvest had been bad and the people were starving, which is called a famine. That seems very strange as Bethlehem means house of bread. The father's name was Elimelech and his wife was named Naomi and their two sons were Malon and Chilion. They were Hebrew people and they loved God. However, the drought was so bad that the family had to leave everything behind, including their little house, and go to live in the kingdom of Moab. When the sons grew up, they married Moabite women. One was called Opah, Opah and the other Ruth. Then the unthinkable happened. The father Elimelech died and Naomi was left with her two sons. After they'd lived there about 10 years, both Malon and Kilion also died, and Naomi was left without her two sons or her husband, which meant that mom Naomi and her two daughters-in-law were widowed. In those times, it was very difficult for women who had who, without husbands or a family to support them. So Naomi decided to go back to her own home in Bethlehem in the country of Judah, as she'd heard that the famine harvest had returned. Naomi, Naomi and her two daughters-in-law set off to go to Bethlehem. Then Naomi said to her daughters-in-law, go back each of you to your own mother's homes. You have shown great kindness and love to your husbands and to me, but now you must go and make a new life for yourself. Opa did turn back, but Ruth, who loved her mother-in-law very much, said, Don't make me to leave you or turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. So Naomi realized that Ruth was determined to go with her, so she stopped urging and they traveled on together as a little family into a new life. Eventually, uh, Ruth met, uh, met a man, and his name was Boaz. And he looked after Naomi and Ruth, and eventually they got married. Boaz and Ruth got married. And they had a little baby called Obed. And that baby, Obed, grew up and he had his own family. And eventually, many families later, another boy related to Ruth was born in a manger in Bethlehem. And who do you think that was? If you said, Jesus, you are right. So tell me, how do you, what do you think of as family? Is, um, we know mom and dad and children are family, but what about grandma and grandpa, uncles and aunts, cousins? They're all family too, right? But there are a lot of other families that are not related by blood, but they, come together as a family because they respect each other, they like each other, and they help each other out. And uh, sometimes we add people into our family and we call them family, but they're not really blood relatives. And maybe your parents had somebody who you think of as part of the family 
or uh, perhaps you have somebody at, at school like, and you think of as a brother or a sister. So family can be lots of things. And in this case, it was Ruth and Naomi and they looked after each other and uh, eventually a, a Boaz came along and he looked after both of them and the new baby. So today's craft is in this leaflet here. Can you see it? Okay, so your, your leaflet looks like this, right? And when you open inside, you see it has two parts. This part with uh, cut out, Naomi and Ruth. And this part has a little man on it. See that? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is going to make sure we have all the things we need to make it, to do the craft. So you need a pair of scissors, and mine are kind of big. You've probably got proper craft scissors. And uh, you need some coloring pencil. And you need some glue. And you've probably got a glue stick, but I've only got this. Okay, so if you look at your leaflet, you'll see that you can give it, you can cut it down the middle here. So that's the middle. All right. So where the little scissors are, you can cut it there. Okay, I will cut it mine. And now you have two pieces. You've got the one with the with the uh, Ruth and, and uh, Naomi on it. And you've got the one, this one. So we're going to start with this one first. So you'll see we've got lines here and here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fold it. Okay, don't cut anything yet. Just fold, fold it. Okay, so we'll see where the, the man is. So we're going to fold it like this. So he's sticking out so you can see him. Okay, so then turn it over and you see another line on this side. You fold like that. And then you fold, turn it over and you fold like that. So what you should have you should have like a little folded thing like this. Okay. You see it's folded. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this person out. So get your scissors. And what you want to be sure that you don't cut only the lines. Don't cut anything else, just, just the lines. So now what you've got is you've got a person. And as long as you just cut the blue bit, you've now got four people. You see that? Four people here. And they're all joined together. See that? So we've got, we've, now, we've got four people all different colors on the other side. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get this other page and we're going to cut out here. Now this is a little more tricky because you don't want to go inside, you just want to say the blue line, all right? Don't cut the middle bit, just on the blue line. You can do that? Okay. Okay, so now you see we have, there we got Naomi, you see that? With her gown. So now we're going to use the glue. So if you get your glue stick, get your people back, the ones we did before, and we're going to glue Naomi together. So we're going to glue her onto here. 
See that? So we have Naomi, okay? and she's part of the family. There she is. And then there's three other spaces afterwards. So now we're going to put, we're going to cut our roof. There she is. So now we're going to put her next to Naomi, to the next person in the family. There, we've got Ruth and we've got Naomi together. Oh, I, you know what? I think I forgot to give, yeah, I did. I forgot to give Ruth the baby. Okay, so here we got the baby and we just need to Glue the baby onto onto uh, Ruth here. So anywhere where you want to have it, if you can hold the baby up here, or you can have her laying on her tummy, yeah, wherever you like. Now you might say, Claudette, what are we going to do with the other two? Well, that's up to you. You can do pictures yourself. You can cut things out of a magazine, say, and put here. Or you can draw. You can draw and color and make yourself part of the family. You can be part of Ruth and Naomi's family if you want to by drawing yourself in here. Or you can cut out. And um, but there, there you go. So, and if you have other people in the family who are with you, you can actually join them all together, like theirs with you, so you can make a bigger family at the end. So when it comes to family, we're all family, right? We're all the family of God. And we should be nice to each other, just the same as we would like other people to be nice to us. We would like, we should be nice to other people too and care for them and if they need help. And especially as I say, if you have friends that you think of as family, you should, maybe you should just let them know that you think of them as maybe your, maybe family that might make them feel good. So that's my, our story for today. And I'm very happy that you came to, came here today. And I just have a little prayer for us before we go, if you'd like to bow your head. And the prayer is, Dear God, we love being part of your family. Help us love and share with our families and others, just as Ruth and Naomi helped each other. So, amen. Thank you for being here. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.